recruiting Jared Toby was a, a, a very enjoyable and competitive experience. Uh, we already had history with the East Coast Michigan program, St. Clair High School, where he's a graduate from. Uh, but uh, going over to evaluate him in uh, high school and summer circuits, it was, it was a fun experience. It was just because his talent level really shined. Uh, the thing I really recall about the recruiting experience more so was his competitiveness uh, to the days when he was a quarterback at St. Clair High School and then watching him compete in summer ball a little more extensively on, on the pitching mound and even as a position player. Uh, it was an enjoyable experience for, my, for our staff and I. Uh, made a couple home visits with him. Really enjoyed uh, collaborating with the East Coast Michigan coaches, uh, Scott Tesla, Caleb Dahlman, who was a, uh, an alumni, who's an alumni of our baseball program. Now he's at Marysville High School as the varsity coach. He was an assistant during that time frame, and just the people that were going to bat for Jared and, and talking about him as a st prospective student athlete. It was a, it was a really good experience, and uh, we were fortunate to get him, and he ended up having a, a great career for us, and uh, it was a worthwhile recruiting experience. Well, Jared's role and impact when he was at Wayne State, it kind of goes back to what I said about the recruiting piece, was competitive. And uh, he evolved into a leader, uh, deeper into his career as an undergrad, but you could see the talent level early on, even as a young freshman. And I, I think the big thing that, came, that sticks to my mind is his level of being a, a, the consummate teammate. Uh, I, I remember him throughout the, the college experience building those relationships with his peers and his teammates and it's been fun to uh, witness that deep into, deeper into his alumni years that that teammate existence uh, still shines with his, his Wayne State teammates. Uh, but his beyond the role on a team in terms of a competitive athlete and a leader, uh, he was just an exceptional student athlete. Got, he, he earned very, very dignified grades through a, a disciplined business curriculum here at Wayne State. And obviously on the pitching mound where he attained most of his success, uh, he did have a little bit of position work as a two-way, but his pitching promise really was in detail. I mean, he's in top five categories of our program all time, I believe, in strikeouts, wins, and, and some other accolades. And he really shined. He, he attained some first-team all-conference recognition, some regional, even national recognition to an extent, and had a really, really historical career uh, as a Wayne State baseball student athlete for us. Yeah, Jared, Jared is an individual, uh, is, a, is a person. Uh, he always represented our program and our university with class. Uh, we did a lot of community service during his time frame with us, and we continue to do so. He was always a prominent figure. Uh, in the community through different outreach uh, components, whether we're working with youth foundations in sport or different uh, collaborations or working in collaboration with different entities that in, in need of our greater Detroit area. Jared was always there and I think that's a reflection of his experiences with East Coast Michigan and the greater St. Clair community and his family obviously. Uh, but uh, you know, again I think he shined in terms of caring for his teammates and, and his peers uh, you, you witness that by even into his professional career, how his teammates would uh, be in the stands and, 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 and you know, rooting for him in, prof in his professional baseball circuit. I think it just goes to show uh, the care and passion he had for others. The, the whole draft circuit and uh, the professional experience really came to light. It was, it, was, it was fairly prevalent through his career, but uh, obviously into his senior year, uh, it became obvious he would have a really competitive shot to get to the next level and get, go through that draft process. The thing that really stands out and is unique is our, our location in Detroit, Michigan at Wayne State University. Uh, we're neighbors to our professional uh, baseball organization of the Tigers, and for him to get drafted by the Tigers was a, uh, a very unique experience, and it was pretty cool. It was fun because everyone around here is Tigers fans. Uh, but I think the, the, the staple to it was, you know, he was a very successful student through our Mike Gillett School of Business at Wayne State University. He, he was usually very competitive around a 3.5 grade point average across his entire career academically, and he had received his degree. And so when you go through the professional draft, whether it's in baseball or other sports, Mo, on most occasions, the, the individuals that are selected in the draft may not, not have a college degree yet. They might, uh, for whatever reason that might be. 
uh, but Jared already took care of business, uh, literally. And uh, uh, he had his degree, got drafted, and I think it was very uh, unique that he was drafted by the Detroit Tigers and the business school was named after Mike Illich, obviously the longtime owner of the Detroit Tigers. So that connection between uh, the academic and athletic world during that draft process was, was very, very unique and very exceptional and something we'll always remember here at Wayne State. Jared, congratulations on your induction into the East Coast Michigan Hall of Fame. Uh, obviously an, an honor that's well earned and you put forth the effort to, to do so, but uh, everyone in the crowd, it's a great program. A special shout out to Coach Shepard and the things he's done at East Coast Michigan to continue to advance the program forward. And I hope everyone enjoys their time with a, a good friend of mine and, and Coach Crane, who's your guest speaker tonight. One of the true class acts in college baseball and definitely in our state of Michigan. If you get an opportunity, uh, definitely shake his hand tonight and thank him for his service uh, with your event. Have a great season, everybody.